Oh, hey, Charles Xavier Anthony Walters III here. Hey, nice shark shirt. And all my life, I've been labeled Not. different. People just don't get me sometimes. Like, they might even say I'm a fish out of water. <laughs> but seriously, there's one place where I can go that I feel like I'm the big kahuna, a king, a rock star. Do you have an aquatic line or... And that place is the Oklahoma Aquarium. As the captain rang with the ship's bell, his crew began to batten down the hatches, but there was nothing to be done as the ship was slowly pulled under the dark covers of the sea by the tentacles of the Kraken! <laughs> what is that, buddy? Am I cracking you up? I can write that down, that's really good. Legend has it that the mysterious Kraken found a new hole. Where are you, light eyes? Well, none other than right here at the Oklahoma Aquarium! <laughs> Well, it's not the Kraken, okay, but it's an animal that's just as cool. I'll give you a hint. Mm -hmm. It's a part of the invertebrate family, which is the largest, most diverse animal group on the planet, oh, making up of 85 to 97% of all animals. Plus, this guy is super smart with, count them, nine brains. It's the giant Pacific octopus. One of my personal favorites. Come on, I'll show you. Like other invertebrates, these guys don't have a backbone and are cold-blooded. But unlike other invertebrates, these guys have the highest brain-to-body mass ratio. You know, because of all the nine brains. But that's not it. They also have three hearts, and they have blue blood. Whoa. It's incredible. They can also change the color and texture of their skin using special pigment cells called chromatophores. And they do it within a tenth of a second, making them masters of camouflage. Generally, invertebrate sizes can range anywhere from smaller than the eye can see to larger than a three-story building. These guys tend to be on the bigger side. The largest known giant Pacific octopus was more than 30 feet long and over 600 pounds. He definitely ate all his dinner. <laughs> Money. Oh my goodness, hi, hi Charles. Hey, tell me you're here to give us some expert insights. Well, I certainly can if you would like me oh, to. We would love it, please. Well, okay, what have you talked about already? Well, we talked about how big they are, mm -hmm. how many brains they have, uh, how they have blue blood. Right, crazy, huh? Yeah. Have you talked about how strong they are? No. Oh my goodness, well, giant Pacific octopuses can lift five pounds <clears throat> with each sucker. So a full-grown Pacific octopus can lift 800 to 1,000 pounds. My gosh, that's so strong. Right? Whoa. How about how smart they are? Did you talk about that? Well, we talked about how they had nine brains, so I assume they're pretty smart. Right. Well, scientists believe that because they're a mollusk, they used to have a shell. And over the course of history, they lost that shell. So they had to be smart to protect those ooey-gooey bodies. Well, tell me about this specific octopus. Well, this beauty, like all giant Pacific octopuses, comes from the Pacific Northwest. Amazing. Yeah. She's a real beauty. I know. <laughs> Thanks so much for sharing with of us. Of course. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Octopus are truly amazing creatures, but you should come and see one for yourself with your own eyes. Come see it all at the Oklahoma Aquarium.